All right, we have created the training set and the test set. And first of all, we have to train our machine learning model with the training set. And the question is always which model or which algorithm to use. And there are quite a few regression models available. And actually, based on our extensive explanatory data analysis, we have seen that uh, there are important features that influence house prices in a non-linear way. So let's have a look above. And here we can see that uh, the location in terms of coordinates is a really important feature for house prices. However, we have uh, clearly seen that uh, there's definitely no linear relationship between uh, latitude, longitude and house prices. So we shouldn't use a linear regression model and therefore we should select a model that uh, can capture non-linear relationships and uh, the random forest regressor is such a model. And it's clearly beyond the scope of uh, this pandas course to discover the mechanics behind a random forest regression. And uh, therefore at this point it's sufficient to understand uh, that uh, a random forest regressor can capture non-linear relationships. All right. So we are importing the random forest regressor from scikit-learn. And then we create a random forest regressor and uh, we define some hyperparameters to optimize uh, the model and uh, to improve uh, the predictive power by reducing overfitting. And of course, I have done uh, some hyperparameter tuning before to optimize uh, the model, but uh, that's uh, clearly beyond the scope here. So let's uh, create the regressor and let's save uh, the regressor object in uh, the variable forest rec. And now we can fit the model with uh, the training set by passing the features and uh, the labels. So here we have uh, the uh, parameters X, capital X and Y. And actually this uh, takes a while here. Now before we test our model with uh, the test set to see whether it can generalize to new cases, we can verify how well our model fits uh, the training set or in other words, how well we can uh, predict uh, the house prices of uh, our training set with the model. And if uh, the fit is too good, uh, this can indicate overfitting. And actually there are two metrics uh, to measure the fit. And uh, first we consider the coefficient of determination or short R squared, which shows the values between zero indicating no fit at all and uh, one indicating a perfect fit. And we can actually get uh, the R squared with uh, the method the score. And again, we have to pass X train and uh, Y train. So that's uh, the training set. And uh, this is a pretty high value, so 0 0.97. And uh, this might indicate that our regressor is actually overfitting. And uh, the second metric is uh, the mean squared error and the rule is here pretty simple. The lower the mean squared error, so uh, the closer to zero, the better the fit. And uh, let's import mean squared error from uh, scikit-learn metrics. And now let's make predictions on the training set. So we pass uh, the features X train to uh, the predict method. And then actually our model predicts uh, the corresponding labels and uh, we save those in the variable pred. So these are not uh, the actual labels or the actual house prices, but uh, the predicted ones. And now we can calculate the mean squared error by actually comparing the actual and uh, real labels with uh, the predicted labels. And by doing so, we calculate the mean squared error and we save it in forest MSE. And then actually it's convention to take uh, the square root, which is uh, more meaningful with np.square root and uh, save uh, the result in forest uh, root mean squared error. So let's have a look. And uh, the rule is uh, the closer to zero, the better the fit. And here we have 18,000. So with an R squared of 0 0.97 and uh, a root mean squared error of 18,000, we could conclude uh, that actually our model fits uh, the training data pretty well. But uh, this doesn't indicate at all whether our model can generalize to new cases and uh, predict house prices uh, for new data. 
And that's exactly what we will do in the next lecture. So hope to see you there. Bye.